Hi, I'm Dr. Kaushik Mukherjee. Today I'm discussing about the coronary artery blockage and some symptoms we will discuss and how can it can be diagnosed with symptoms that will be our topic today. So coronary artery blockage generally present with chest pain. More or less 50, more than 50% of the patient will come with heaviness of the chest, generally with exertion. Sometimes it comes after dinner or after breakfast and in severe blockage sometimes it comes with rest also. Patient in rest also complains of chest pain or heaviness of chest. And some people will have atypical symptoms like atypical symptoms like uh, jaw pain, pain radiating to the inner side of left hand, fatigue. Uh, uh, SOB or uh, dyspnea on exertion. Female patient generally complains of atypical symptoms like uh, fatigue. Previously, that work we were she was doing here, she was doing not able to comp uh, doing it now without any discomfort. That will be one of the problem. And generally, these symptoms can be diagnosed by doctors or sometimes patient comes to the doctor with these symptoms. Occasionally, more or less 30 percent patient may come with acute coronary syndrome. Acute coronary syndrome that means chest pain that is not relieving with rest, not relieving with medication and that may culminate into heart attack also. So, some people will come with heart attack and directly admitted in hospital because of this coronary blockage and these people generally have a tendency to have diabetic because diabetic people generally don't have the normal heart symptoms like chest pain because the nerve endings may not be responsive because of the diabetic damage. So people will come with diabetes like uh, SOB more or less, dyspnea on exertion, fatigue and sometimes with acute coronary syndrome or heart attack. These things can be diagnosed by ECG, can be diagnosed by ECO also in sometimes and generally the gold standard test is coronary angiography. If the coronary angiography is there, we can diagnose which artery is blocked and how much blockage is there and what would be the treatment plan for this blockage syndromes. If the blockage is less than 70 percent in single artery, it can be managed by medications only. If the blockage is more than 70 percent and that is a long blockage or having symptoms despite medication, it should be treated with either angioplasty or bypass. Generally more than three blockages in all arteries or extensive blockage like diffuse blockage, long channel block, these things only can be addressed by bypass surgery. So the symptoms should be diagnosed early. You should come to the doctors early when the heart is still undamaged. If you have already suffered a heart attack, there is a chance the heart muscle is already damaged. And sometimes after this coronary revascularization also, that damage is not very much repaired. Sometimes the damage is uh, more or less irreversible. So you have to be very cautious. More than 45 years, 40 years age, you are having some symptoms that was not previously there. You should consult with your doctors, either physician or a cardiologist. Thank you.